Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we will cover the architecture of AEMS Cloud solution, uh, basically software as a service. If you go by the documentation, it clearly says it's dynamic in nature. The architecture is dynamic and uh, it works on images. So what is image? Uh, basically in cloud computing area, image is nothing but a virtual image, which can, which is, can be a single file. Uh, of course, it will be a single file which contains your virtual disk, operating system, application server, blah, blah. So that is image or we can say virtual image. Uh, so the purpose is to basically create instance and in our case it's AEM instance and then those in in instances so now we are talking about multiple images so for example this is one image this is one image this is one image so consider this is one AEM instance another AEM instance third AEM instance and you see this disabled I have taken this image from Adobe documentation only so it says the individual instances only run when they need it so for example if the traffic is more let's enable this also traffic is less let's rule it out so like that so uh, and there is a terminology in uh, cloud uh, like adding instances or removing in instances and we call it as scaling now scaling is can be of two types so, okay we'll discuss about it uh, basically horizontally scaling and vertically scaling now what does that mean so for example consider you we have a computer okay and uh, or we can let's say we have a AM instance running on okay and we know X amount of users can access this application now this AM instance on which operating system it's running the hardware must be having some configuration and uh, the memory CPU etc right so according to that X amount of users can happily access this environment no issue at all there is no performance lag but now the website is so popular more people are coming to your website so then you need more room uh, so there are two ways first is you will increase the room size uh, just consider um, for example we have a we have a house okay and in which there are four people so you just have maybe first floor or ground floor I would say and then you have more people added to the family so what you do either you will just have another another house just next to your house so that people can accommodate can be accommodated or you will have a uh, first floor or second floor built so that pe more people can come and uh, can stay over there similar to that um, logic here also vertically scaling is nothing but i am adding another floor to it so basically i am increasing the house size uh, that is vertical scaling and here is nothing but i am adding uh, more configurations to a particular server. So for example, I'm increasing the RAM, I'm increasing the CPU, etc. That is vertical scaling. So it's like increasing the house height. The second one is horizontal scaling where I'm saying I have a house and uh, there are more people coming. So I will have another another house built just next to next to the that house and maybe another one. So So for example, if people are coming, they will live on second floor first floor and uh, it's just these are separate houses for those people so, so this way we can relate this vertical scaling and horizontal scaling now in AMS cloud solution what we will get is auto scaling it means whether we should uh, go for this or this uh, someone will decide for you that is nothing but the orchestration engine so we'll constantly monitor the state of the service will do will decide the auto scaling and if you really go with the uh, for example aws will learn it a uh, the auto scaling group etc so there are few concepts if you go and learn uh, you will find it it's exactly same it's just the cloud feature we are using okay so all instances of the ems cloud service are created equal each with the same default sizing characteristics in terms of the number of nodes allocated memory and allocated computing capacity so how many nodes we are creating it's exactly same for so if we go back to the previous so all instances will have the same configuration and there is a logic behind it right for example um, this AEM instance is having some issue I just want to uh, remove it from the node 
So this node, I want to remove it. I want to add another one. So until unless the another node will have the same configuration, it won't work the same way it was working, right? This node was working. So that's why we need the same configuration. Uh, services are created equal, same default sizing characteristics, allocated memory, everything is same. So that's it uh, in this video. And we will cover more about AMS Cloud, uh, what are the solutions, etc. Thank you so much for watching.